Um, and then now we're going to do the No Side show, which is kind of a sequel. Uh, no Side is a character that has shown up in a couple of different previous unlock scenarios, uh, or maybe only one before this. I believe there are now three different No Side uh, scenarios. Um, Y'all, if you could just let me know in the chat if my uh, audio volume is okay. Um, I'm looking at my levels. It looks like I might be a little bit loud. Um, although I've found generally Twitch streams tend to be on the lower end. So just let me know if it's too loud, too quiet, whatever, and I will make sure to fix that. So I am thinking I'm just going to pretty much a little loud, but not clipped. So I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess people can always turn it down. You played the other no side. Okay, so uh, Rode says, I played the other no side ones. Excited to see this one. Yay. Um, yeah, this one comes with a program that I, it says only open when instructed. So I have not opened this yet. I don't know what's in it. Um, and then like other unlock scenarios, as many of you are likely familiar with, unlock is not destructible like the exit games are. It is just a deck of cards um, and then an app. And sometimes you will do uh, multiple things within the app, but um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the box out of the way and put this down here. And I've got the app all ready to go and I actually figured out how to turn off my notifications so that when my screen is active, the notifications won't go off. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read the first card on the deck and then we'll start the timer after that. Uh, ooh, and thank you for the hydration reminder, Lizzie. That is, it's always good to hydrate before we get started. All right. The No Side Show. All afternoon, the promotional truck crisscrossed the streets of town while a man bellowed into a loud hailer, announcing the arrival of the Diocin Circus. Wonderful! Young, old, and everything in between, each resident has received their admission ticket for the first performance. Let the show begin! Launch the app, select the No Side Show, and press start. Your admission ticket is on the back of this card. So... What I'm going to go ahead and do is I will start the app in just a second, but I'm going to go ahead and show you all. Let's see if this will work without the glare. Oops. Okay. Our, our admission ticket. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. There's a little bit of music. Should I turn the music off? I should probably turn the music off. It's not that interesting. We're just gonna mute that. If it was like interesting, I think I would leave it running, but the lights in Diocin are all, ooh, and that's blurry. Why is that blurry on the app? Odd. Let's see here. So yeah, the lights are all changing the words there. I don't know what's going on with that, but our ticket says circus free admission now head toward our neon sign. It says stamp here. And there is a number six right there. Um, am I just allowed to take card number six? If it's in the deck? I mean, it said there's a six right there, so let's find out. Let's see if there is a six. The, the first one is always toward the freaking back of the deck in Unlock. If there is a card that you can take early on. Oh, there's IO. That's part of the sign. It says head toward our neon sign. I'm going to... Hmm. Okay, hold on. I mean, I can see that in the sign. So, all right. Anagram for no side. I had not actually caught that yet. Good call, Hornist. Okay, it says, welcome to the Diocin Circus. I don't know if I was supposed to take that, but I'm assuming so because that was part of the sign. So now we need to take some more cards. 15, 40, 15, 29, 47. 15, 29, 47. 29, 15, and 47. 47. Early on, the deck is so big. 
14, not 15. I need 15. There's 16. There we go, 15. Okay. I know I'm not supposed to pay attention to the other numbers. I usually try not to. Okay, so these are what we have so far. The strongest man in the world bars your way. No stamped admission, no admission, period. Okay, well my, yeah, I don't, I don't have a stamp. I don't have a stamp yet on my admission, so. The vendor welcomes you coldly. No, I have no ice creams. They all melted because there is no electricity to power the fridge. Well, but they're holding ice cream. I'm just saying. The bearded lady at the cashier's box tells you, okie dokie, give me your ticket. I'm going to stamp it. And <laughs> she has a little stamp with the number eight on it. So we will now find card number eight. And I bet we're going to get our stamp. For the record, this is um, uh, an easy difficulty scenario. So hopefully I will not struggle with it too hard. The easy and medium unlocks I usually do okay with. The hard ones sometimes have puzzles that my brain does not want to. There's like a nine on the top of that card. I shouldn't, mm, I shouldn't be paying attention to that stuff. Oh, there's card numbers on a lot of them. Where the frick is card number eight? There was no card number eight, unless I missed it. Oh, hidden object. The circus's neon light flashes oddly in the app. Okay, yeah. Oh, because it all leads up. Okay, so I did that right. I did not see number eight. Oh, when she stamps it, it'll say 68. That's what I need. I bet somebody in the chat has already said that, but I didn't see it, so I'm counting it as a win for me. I'm looking for 68. It only took me a second to figure that out. I'm kind of proud of myself. Hey, there we go. All right. So I can get rid of six and 47. And we have, this is a red puzzle piece. So we will be able to add this one to a blue card at some point. But we have our ticket. So he said no stamped admission, no admission. But if we add these together, we get 78, 83. So let's find card number 83. So far, this is just a lot of me searching through a deck of cards, which is great content, I have to say. And they're always at the freaking back of the deck. We're gonna need some more. Okay, we're getting rid of 15 and 68. And we need 33 and 84. The numbers are weirdly spaced apart and there's also a five up here on the curtain. So I'm assuming that I can pull five as well. So 80, so 5, 33, 84. 5, 33, 84. This is fascinating. What the heck? There's 84. Did I miss five and 33? Okay, so we're gonna, this is gonna give us the booklet here in a second, but 33 and five, did I go right past them? I did. I went right past it. And I'm sure somebody in the chat probably said that too. Where's five though? There's a big old five up there. Like that's a hidden number, right? I didn't see a five anywhere in this deck. I don't see a five. So I don't know what that five up in the curtain means. Oh yeah. That's a good call, Ben. This is half of a stage and there's going to be, it's going to be 50 something. Uh, there's a lot of card hunting in this one. Maybe just the beginning. Yeah, we'll find out. Okay. So Oh, <laughs> literally that one. <laughs> so, okay, let's let's get some more cards out. And then, so we need 56, 87, 72. 56, 87, or 56, 72, 87. 56, 72, 87. <laughs> 56, 72, 87. 56. 
56, 72. There's 72. There's 56. There we go. Okay. Hopefully, with the, all these cards in our program book, we will be doing less card hunting, at least right away. Okay. Do these tell me to get rid of anything? No, not at the moment. We have a couple of mechanical puzzles that we're going to have to do. I'll take the program in the game box and open it, then discard this card. Okay, so that card is gone, and we now have this program book, which I'm going to lay out up here. So, this is the Diocin Collectible Card Game. Insert in this program all the cards bearing the icon, this thing, this little tent. All right, well, do any of these cards have that icon? Not currently, so we don't have anything yet. Um... I am going to take a closer look at these real quick here. I will. So there's like some hook. There's like horseshoe prints. There's a blue guy carrying balloons. I will show you all what I'm looking at here. Um, see that there's like there's a little guy carrying balloons over there. And then there's some horseshoe prints. Oh my gosh, my poor thumb. Don't look at that. <laughs> Do not look at that. It's fine. Um... Okay, I don't know what we're gonna need this for, but let's see what else we got. A balloon seller passes through the bleachers. Okay, so that's a little balloon seller guy. Um, let, he's a puzzle, so let's type in his and see what we get. It's 87. What shape do you want for your balloon? Oh, I don't know. I assume there's a correct answer. I don't wanna pick wrong. I'm going to pick pony. Oh, the balloon bursts. This is not the right shape. Do I get a penalty? It didn't say I got a penalty. Okay, well, I'm going to try another one. Mouse! After a few maneuvers, the balloon takes shape. Take card 71. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to just guess or <laughs> if, but I did and it worked out okay. Uh, I would like to hear about how your all's days went. Uh, if anything good or bad happened. Where's 71? There it is. I'm using my starving artist's play mat today <laughs> below this. So there's, it's a little bit busy under there, but this mouse sculpture is most impressive. It almost looks alive. Oh, all right. Well, we've seen that mouse before, so I can get rid of card number 87. Okay. We got a mouse. Let's look at this one now. The trailers of the performers and the famous aquarium. Feel free to visit these between numbers. Okay. I'm looking just to see if there is any hidden numbers on here. It does not appear to be, uh, but it is a puzzle. So I will type this one in. I'll show you all. Let's type this in here. 72. Oh, so we can actually like pick one of these things. The trailers of the performers and the famous aquarium. So we can just visit them. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the aquarium. Go there. A sign indicates, beware, dangerous fish, wait for the end of my number. Signed, Cloud Miko. Clown Miko. I said cloud. <laughs> Okay, Hornist says, a workout and a lot of yard work today, feeling tired but relieved of some stress. That's good. I know, I'm, I kind of do the same thing. Like, sometimes there's things that, like, I've been putting off, and when I do them, I feel a lot better. And it, you'd think that feeling of stuff making you feel better would make you want to do more stuff like that, but it never works that way. Rode says, I have an interview for a promotion tomorrow. That's awesome. Congratulate. Well, good luck. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm going to say congratulations because I'm. I bet you're going to get it. Uh, ben says, sleepy day, made better by having pizza in the evening and sitting out in the sun. That does sound like a good day. Pizza and sun. Okay, so let's go over to the, let's see, try the clown. No trace of the clown. He must be in the big top. Come back later. Okay, let's go to the garden. Convenient for getting a batch of vitamins, but for the moment it is useless. Okay. The trapeze artist blazing match is getting ready for her number and has no time for you. Okay, let's try this. The painter paints the fence in black next to the generator that powers the circus. Okay, so we got some cards. 16 and 67. There's 
67. You weren't kidding about the card hunting in this one. There's 16. All right. The electric generator is out of order, obviously. The trash can used as a container is empty. Oh, the obviously went with the second sentence. I read that poorly. Obviously, the trash can used as a container is empty. I don't know what that means. I'm confused. Here, let me show you all. I'm not quite sure. Then this one, this fence has just been repainted in black. It's happier that way. Wet paint. That feels like it's going to matter. I bet we got to get something stripey. We got to make something stripey with that paint somehow. All right. Well, we're going to want to fix the generator for sure. Uh, we're we're going to need a blue card to add to it. And I'm pretty sure our mouse balloon is not going to fix the generator. I, I have an idea, I have an, I have an inkling. Uh, let's try this one. Mr. Loyal's trailer, but there's nothing you can do. The padlock is tightly locked. Okay, so that's all the things on this. Okay. Um, I'm just glancing at other cards that I've gotten to see if there's anything else we can do. Oh, I didn't actually look at this card earlier, so I should probably look at it and grab the card it wants me to grab. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Loyal, and I will accompany you during this show. Open your eyes and your ears. Mwahahaha. For starters, here are our jugglers. The Z. All right, so card Z is what we need to grab. I do occasionally do this with unlock games because they tend to give you a whole bunch of things all at once. And sometimes I will miss one of the things I'm supposed to grab and then it throws everything else off, which is a bummer. There's Z. Okay. Ooh, the jugglers. Look at that fanciness. I can get rid of card 56. Ooh, and so yeah, this one does slot into our brochure. We've got lots of colored implements. <gasps> Hi, Nick. You've got this unlock and shrink, so you don't want to spoil it. Okay, no problem. No worries at all. Um, I, I appreciate that you stopped in to say hello. All right, so we've got a green, a purple and a pink, and an, a yellow dressed juggler. And then we've got pieces of it in all of those colors as well. So there's probably something that I need to do with this, but I don't know what yet. So we're just going to slot it in where it's supposed to go. Right up here. Okay. Boom. The jugglers. This, you know what? I'm just going to put it on here. I don't want to bend the card. I, this is my friend Kathy's unlock set. And now I'm paranoid that I'm like bending the cards. She wouldn't theoretically care, but I want to just be careful with it. Okay. So we got to power up the generator. Mm. Ben says that looks like a nasty color test. Looks like two numbers added. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like that's a plus sign in the middle. Sorry, I know you can't see this card very well now that it's down here. I don't think it's anything that I should be able to know how to figure out right now, right? Or is it green plus pink and purple? Two plus something. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a two in the green. And then in, in the pink, there's a six in the balls and a, uh, a one. So is it two plus 61? Oh, thanks, Atticus. Is it 60? So two plus 61? Because he's pur he's pink and purple. He's not he's not one or the other. He's both. So is it 63? I'm going to look for card 63 and see what happens. We'll see if there's a 63 in the deck. Ooh, there is. <gasps> we found it. Good call. All right. And now here is our clown, Augustus Miko. All right. So this, hold on. This goes, you know, we're going to put this up here. And this will go on top of that, I guess. No. Oh, no. This is going to be another. Oh, it's going to be another one. Okay. So now we need 
card 87 and then we've got like half of two other cards but we don't know the full thing yet so let's grab 87 which is going to be miko most likely Okay, or, oh no, we already got rid of card number 87. This one had us ditch card 87 earlier. Yeah, 87 was the balloon vendor. 87, this, I'm not misreading that, right? Like that says I'm supposed to take 87. Oh, it's dotted though. It's not a complete line. What does that mean? It's dotted around the number. I don't, I don't know what that means. That's weird. I have no idea what to do with this one. This is strange. No side. <laughs> Hi, Ambi. Okay. So we've got a fence painted black. We've got the machine. So earlier Ben said that maybe the machine needs trash in it. So should I try and put the balloon in the trash? That would give us card number 87. Wait, that's the same card. Again, 87 to be the clown or the balloon guy, which we already threw away over here. So... That won't help. If we try and throw the painted fence into the machine, that'd be 83. Do we have 83 already? I don't think this will work, but I'm gonna look for it anyway. So I don't have a lot of other stuff at the moment. I must be missing something. See if there even is an 83. It does not look like it. Nope. Okay. Um, so we gotta turn on the power. Oh, but wait, so wait, so if the clown is on stage now, maybe we can go back to because he's on stage, right? Yeah, he's he's in the big top. So what was the one that was waiting? Wait for the end of my number. So we need to go back to the aquarium after the clown is done. I don't think we can. I, th I don't think we can go any out to any of these places yet. Yeah, we already got those. Is there anything else I can click on in here? No. Okay, so there's nothing else that we can do at the moment there. So this card, clearly we have to do, oh no, we did this one, right? We found 63, but then what do we do? So what do we do with this one, y'all? This is the one that's tripping me up because it has an 87, but there's a dotted line around it. And we already drew card 87 from something else. Is there a, oh, I wonder if there's a, no, cause we looked, there's no other. Did I look to see if there was like a second 87 in the deck? I think I already looked, but look at the dotted line mean. I don't understand. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get a hint. Are there any differences? Should I look to see like between these two cards? Like, I mean, there's people in the seats here, but not there. There's, oh wait, the rings. Okay, hold on, hold on. So here next to the four, there's a green, pink, and yellow ring. But we already, like, do we need to do anything else with this? It doesn't quite fit, but it should overlap. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. Oh, and this is covering. Okay. Okay. So then if we do that. That's how we get the new numbers. Good call. 
Uh, so we do, we need 34 and 62. Thank you, Ben. 34 and 62. There's 62. That should have been obvious to me. I'm not quite sure why it wasn't. 34. Okay. Rings, my precious. We got a blue one. And oh, oh my, the clown is not looking happy at all. That is a, that is, that is one sad clown. Well, let's type him in. Let's see what we get. So 62. He seems so sad he forgot to take his red nose. What if I touch his nose or rub it? What do I, how can I cheer him up? Can I give him a balloon? There's something I'm supposed to do on this screen. He's not down to clown. What are, what are we supposed to do with him? He seems so sad he forgot to take his red nose. Honk, laugh. <laughs> Cheer up. <laughs> um, hello. Here's your red nose. If I shake it. Clown? Clown. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. Should I get the first hint? Honk. You all just wanted to hear me honk. What's what's the noise that a red clown nose makes? Like a wee <laughs> Uh Should I get the hint? Do y'all? What do I do? He seems so sad. Cheer up! Smile! Come on, buddy! It's a it's gonna applause. Ooh, okay. Nope, that didn't work either. Bravo! Hooray! When Untitled Goose Game meets Unlock. All right, clapping didn't work. I'm using the hint. First, you must find Miko's nose. Look around the trailers, then come back here. Oh. That, what? Okay, look around the trailers. So that's over back on card 72. So let's go to, go to his trailer first. You find the clown's red nose among the jumble. The show can go on. Okay, well, that was simple enough. So 62. Oh, yeah, he's got his nose back. Look at him. He's much happier now. Oh, I touched him and I lost one minute. What? Can I, can I honk? What do I? Oh, no. I honked his nose and it, I lost another minute. What? A, what? Okay, I touched the flower and nothing happened. I don't know if it's because I already touched it or... Well, I don't want the solution. Am I just done with him? I can't just be done with him. He didn't do anything for me, right? I don't know. That smile is definitely creepy. Maybe there's an order in which I have to do things. Cause I, like there's the, it's a flower, nose. Oh, what else can I touch? How many minutes am I gonna lose here? Jeez, I'm, I should probably stop touching things without knowing why. <laughs> That's a good way to handle life, right? So we have these rings. Maybe we could throw them into the generator. So that would be card number 50, theoretically. Where else can I touch the clown? Oh no. Oh, things have gone off the deep end very quickly. <sighs> Please let there be a card 50. Come on. Dang it. Okay, so can't throw the rings into the, the generator. Um, he probably needs water for his flower, right? If I go to the aquarium, it's after his act and then I can get water for his flower and then he'll be happy. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're going to the aquarium. A sign indicates, beware, dangerous fish, wait for the end of my number. Signed, Clown Miko. 
Oh, so maybe the clown isn't done with his act yet. Well, can I go anywhere else? No. 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 Let's go back to his trailer. Okay, well, we already got his nose. I don't want the solution. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock here, way past family prime time. Why are we making the clown happy? I don't know. What? Okay, so... I feel like there's multiple places that I need to touch the clown. <laughs> and I have to touch them in the right order? Maybe? Because like when I touch the flower, it does not take a minute away. But like, I don't know where else is touchable other than his nose. And so far when I touched his nose, that was not good. What am I missing? Okay, hold on. Let me see here. Is that an 11 in the mouse's eyes? I don't think it is. That, is that a hidden number? His eyes? Or is that an, like an 11? I don't think it is, but I'm going to look anyway. The app hasn't told us about a hidden number any time recently, so I'm going to assume that that's not what it is, but we'll just glance through real quick. Okay. I don't know what to do with this clown, y'all. Should I just look at the solution? What am I missing? We're already halfway through our time. So we have the rings. Can I give the rings to the clown? Are they, no, they, are, they were from the juggler's act, but I can't do anything with, like, what are the rings for? I need to add them to something. I can't put them in the disposal. All that clown touching has run out of my timer. Accurate. Um, anybody got any all that? Anybody got any idea what we should do with this clown? I don't want to just like keep touching him randomly because obviously that's not the solution. Is just to figure it out because I kept losing too much time. So it's it's the game is saying don't do that at random. Um, yeah, well, the problem is there aren't any more hints because we already did hint one. Oh, wait, to perform the clown's number, follow the program's instructions. Oh my gosh. There's copy on the program that I didn't even read. Okay. His specialty, press the flower three times and his big red nose once. One, two, three, four. Oh my, he squirted me with his flower. <laughs> um, is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. I, that, I, that, this, that's, we're, okay. I don't, did, are we done? Is that it? <laughs> it didn't give me anything. Maybe he's done with his act now. Maybe if we go back, he will. Nothing left to do here. The clown went to feed the fish. Okay, now we can go to the aquarium. What a magnificent aquarium. Take card 22. So now there's, we know that there. Oh, yeah, there's, there's information on this program that you all can't read. And I didn't pay attention to. So card 20, wait, card 58. What about card 58? The splatter made a number? Oh. Okay. What if, what if I didn't have you all? 58, and what else am I looking for? Jesus, I don't even remember. 22, 58 and 22. I wasn't even looking. I don't know what I would do with you without you all. Okay. 
58. And I missed 22 somewhere, clearly. Right at the beginning, probably. What? Where is it? Oh. Flipped right past it. I would be stuck here with the clown. Oh, no! Okay. Um, ha, ha, ha. I'm loving it. You are soaked. Mwah, ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Miko. Please now welcome our acrobat monkeys, the Sims. Okay, so this also gets overlaid on the thing. It's going to change another number. I like this little mechanism where they're kind of changing the numbers. Okay, so this gets overlaid here. And so now this is 42. We also have a card for the aquarium. 42 is going to be those, those monkeys. There it is. All right. Let me read what's underneath the thing over here first. A pyramid of acrobat monkeys on a donkey. Do not lose their tracks in the ring. Okay. The acrobats appear on the ring, make a full lap, then go out the same way they came. Do not lose their tracks in the ring. Let me show you all the card a little closer up. Okay. We got monkeys. We got a very happy looking horse. I mean, come on, look at that horse. Or a donkey. It's a donkey. Look at that donkey. Look at him. He's so cute. Um... Okay, so the tracks in the ring are over here. So they came out, went around, and went back in. Do not lose their tracks in the ring. Oh, and we can get rid of card 58, that one says. Where, oh. Wait. Oh, so this is gone. Yeah, the one we just got, it gets rid of that. Okay. I don't know if all of these are supposed to still be stacked, but we're going to keep them like that for now because I don't. it hasn't told us to get rid of it. Um, oh, I forgot to look at our aquarium card. Uh, aquarium number 22. This is the home of Dylan, the sawfish, Ashley, the hammerhead shark, and the Brandons, a famous shoal troop of swordfish. Uh, well, Dylan the sawfish is the cutest fish I've ever seen. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Okay. So we've got some fishies. Um, I feel like the sawfish would be able to cut something, like maybe the fence. But these are blue numbers. They have to be added to something red. The only red thing we have right now is the generator, and I do not think adding fish to the generator is a good idea. So, these numbers don't appear to help us yet. Um, ooh, wait, the ring, oh, could this, mm, it's blue though. I was gonna say like rings, like you throw ring toss like on top of something. The fam a famous shoal troop of swordfish. <laughs> the they could pop the balloon but again the, you can't it's blue blue and blue can't do that can i go anywhere else let's see if uh there are other locations we can go Ooh, responding to your cry for help the trapeze artist hurries to the big top okay i now have a plus 47 i don't know what what i could add that to the only again the only red i have is the generator Um, I guess I could try that. So that would be 57, 63. I don't, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to try it anyway, but it, I'm recognizing that this is a waste of time. I'm just saying if I have a number and I have a red thing to add it to, I might as well try, right? No clue. Okay. So the trapeze artist hurries to the big top. But what was my cry for help? Wait, what? 
one of the cards is missing some lights. On the back, like the, the back of the card. Uh, yeah, this one, there are lights out on it, but does that mean I can do something with it? No, I don't think I'm supposed to have that yet. There's a few that have lights out, it looks like, or at least a couple. And then there's also numbers, uh, and there's like some other stuff. Like there's a bunch of things on the back of these cards. I don't think that that applies yet. Um, but I appreciate you noticing that so that way we can use it hopefully later. Oh gosh, no, you're fine. I just, the, the trapeze artist heard my cry for help. Following the footstep one leads to a card. Okay. The problem is following it where? Oh, I wonder like the other side, like the back? No. Just if I, cause I was thinking like there's an arrow here and the hoof steps go this direction. So like if I flipped it over, would there be anything on the back? But there wasn't. There's 10 hoof prints. So let's look for card number 10. I don't think that's gonna work. No, there's no 10. Okay. Arrow to 34. What do you mean arrow to 34? This card does not go there. This is just sitting there. <laughs> 10 is already gone. Uh, Ambie did not like this puzzle. Uh, uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you, oh yeah, it's IO. Um, if you want to give me a hint, I'll take it. I, I'm not worried about doing these puzzles cleanly, so to speak. Um, but yeah, if you're, uh, Timon, if you were talking about this, this card does not go there. It was just sitting there because I wanted to make sure y'all could see things. But here, I'll put it over here so it's a little more clear that that is not where it belongs. This is just, this just happens to be sitting here. Um, Like we just got the aquarium thing, but I don't know what to do with it yet. We have the hoof prints, so it's more visual. Look at what the final footsteps look like. Okay. We have two cards that contain all the hoof prints. I mean, they look like the letter C or the letter U. There are three of them on the, la on the, like, well, no, because it's, so, here, we'll just use this card, because this one, I, I did, I don't think we were supposed to discard it yet, but, one, two, three, four, five, what, what do they look like? Here, chat, you tell me. Do they look like something? It's not all on the card. You have to imagine it. Well, I don't want to imagine it. <laughs> Based on the path they say. A pyramid of acrobat monkeys on a donkey. Do not lose their tracks in the ring. Um, Q? Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, if they went in and came back out, it would make the letter Q. I mean, if that's the answer, for the record, good job. But if that's the answer, that's stupid. <laughs> like, there is a card Q. Yep. Okay, good job. But yeah, that's that's dumb. <laughs> The acrobats leave the ring to great applause. Mr. Loyal turns his back on you. What is he waiting for? Okay, that's creepy. 
Okay. Doesn't say to discard anything. <laughs> We've got a lot of cards going on here now. Put this back over here for now. I'm going to take this and put it up here. Um, well, let's go back to outside. I don't know why, what, no, 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 I already did that. Doesn't appear to be anything we can do here. What is he waiting for? He's waiting for something. Oh, is it applause? But the game, the app wouldn't know if, because we're not in a puzzle right now. Acrobats left the ring. Where does the arrow lead you? What arrow? I don't know what arrow you're talking about. There's a whole bunch of arrows. I don't even know what to ask for a hint about right now. Like it's gotta be his card, I guess. Can I, but I can't ask for a hint. Oh, I guess I can put in the number. Two, two, two. Face him. Oh, oh, so then if I, okay, okay. So now we've got 82 and 27. Let's try that. What arrow were you talking about, Team On? footprints to arrow to D. No, 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 no. So team on, you keep fixating on where I have these cards placed. These, these cards do not belong here. They're not, this is not part of this. These are just sitting here. <laughs> I promise you that these have nothing to do with this at all. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, this is, this is a completely separate thing. Okay. So now we have these. All right, I'm gonna aim at the target, but who took my knives? Can you go Z near the trailers? And we can draw another card in a second. I'm gonna get 30. Um, so he's missing his knives. This is the knife thrower. I'm gonna put him where he belongs. And then five points for the fly. There is a fly right in the middle of that target. All right. So, uh, I mean, I feel like if he can't find his knives, we could use the swordfish, right? Like he could use the swordfish's knives. So I'm going to add 18 to 27. Uh, and that would get me 45. Oh, he says, what am I going to do with that? Flabby as a worm. You're getting warmer, but it's not exactly it. Discard this card. Okay, but at least I did something that kind of almost worked. So he needs not... Oh, if I cut down... I was right. If I cut down the fence, he could use those. Okay, so I need to take... Oh, but I can't... That's not a red number. I was going to say if I could saw the, the fence posts... Yes, there is a number one on the target, but that's not a hidden number. I think that's a score thing on the target, maybe. I don't know. I guess I could look and see if there's a card number one, but I don't think there is. Okay. 
So he needs knives. Let's go back to the... We have a plus 47, but that's the trapeze artist. I don't think that that... Oh, we forgot to take card 30. I said... What did I say? I said I was going to forget it. Knew I was going to forget it. Still did it anyway. Even after I said it out loud. The acrobat monkeys left us on the ground. Nice of you to have picked up this waste. Bummer. It could have been a good gag. Ooh, waste. So now we can put this in the generator. So 30 plus 16 is 46. I knew I was going to forget to take that darn card. The freezer now works. Ooh, we can discard a bunch of stuff. Awesome. Okay. Let's see here. So IO. Didn't we already get rid of that one? Maybe not. I don't know. Is that one of these? No. 10. Oh, so 10, 16, 29, and 30. I don't know where 10 is, but. Those are all gone. Okay, so the freezer works, and we can add the freezer to something else. Um, ooh, and below the, the uh, knife thrower, it says the sharpest knives, a number that will turn your blood into ice. So oh, we could freeze the swordfish, and then they wouldn't be floppy anymore. So 40, oh, but that's sad. I don't, I hope that they'll just go to sleep. It'll be fine. So 46 plus 18 is 56, 64. I feel like I'm on a roll. The Brandons are now, are all stiff now. Stage fright probably, or coldness. Okay, 46 goes away. Now we give these to the knife thrower. So 64 plus 27 is 91. Y'all, I'm motoring, which is good because time is basically run out already. Where is 91? Come on, there it is. Don't worry, no animals were harmed during the show. Yay! Okay. So we can get rid of 27 and 64. Okay, okay, okay. Um... That hammerhead shark, he, like hammering something. Didn't say to get rid of 82, which is the, the target over here. Well, let's go back. Okay, there's nothing to do on that screen. Um, oh, 10. 10 was down there. We can get rid of that. Okay. We'll just leave these cards up here for now. Because I don't know if we'll need them again or not. I don't know what to do next. Did I miss something again? Um, I've got a whole bunch of blue numbers. I do not have, but I don't, how do I get the trapeze artist to come out? I already kind of did that with, but without realizing it. Responding to your cry for help. When, did, like, I don't understand why I keep saying that. I haven't cried for help. I don't even know what to ask for a hint about is the thing. The generator's working. The freezer's working. We got rings. We got a fence. We got a mouse balloon. We got all these fishies. The the, the uh, knife thrower did his bit, but how do I how do I progress? What did I I must have missed something again because I was moving too fast. Oh, cry for help. Help! 
yeah, no. The shape on the knife thrower target. Oh, that's a good call. I don't know. Here, let me show you all. Doesn't immediately appear to be anything. Are there hidden numbers here that I'm missing? Yeah, this, this card must give me something, right? But what? I don't... Oh, maybe how many points he scored. Hold on. But I don't know what anything else is. So wait, oh, five, four, three, two, one. So if it's, so he scored uh, five plus three is eight plus two is 10 plus another two is 12. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to look for card number 12 and see if that helps. He would have gotten 12 points. If, if I got this, I swear to you, I swear. I'm a genius! All right. 82 goes away, as does Q. Okay. The knife thrower leaves the ring. Suddenly, a cry booms out from the audience. My red balloon! Who will you ask to go fetch this balloon now that it is so high? Oh, and look, he's holding, he's holding freaking scissors. What a big jerk. I mean, I have a balloon. Can I just give it to her? I'm just going to give her a balloon. So that would be 83. I'm, I'm just going to give it to her. Like, why would I not? Little girl wants a balloon. I'm going to give her a dang balloon. Okay, there is no 83. Or if there was, it's already out of the deck. Who will you ask to go fetch this balloon now that it is so high? Oh, that's where the trapeze artist comes in, that 47. I see. The trapeze artist goes up to get it. 47 plus 12 is uh, 50, 59. That's where that other number comes in. So that it's weird that I could get to that early. Did I already pass it? I might have passed it. No, it's right there. After this balloon rescue, blazing match... Uh, our trapeze artist is getting ready to set the big top on fire. Wow, that is, uh, that is definitely some fire. We can get rid of card number 12. So let me show you all this one. The countdown is finished, but time continues. You can finish the adventure. Okay. Um, so this one is also a thing that we can type in. So 59. Oh. Oh my. Oh, that's definitely a number. Hold on. One, eight, 18. I'm going to try 18. That looked like an 18 to me. Mr. Loyal reappears right behind you as soon as the trapeze artist finishes her act. What a shooting star. Let's call the following number together. What? Let's call the following number together. You, what? Let's call what number together? I'm just going to sit here looking confused because I'm confused. Anything on the back? No, not of note. I don't see anything. There, the first letter of all of these cards is bold, so I do not think that'll mean anything. 
Yeah, I, the, I, I, I agree that that would have been a good hint if it was unique, but all of the cards, the very first letter is bolded. What a shooting star. Let's call the following number together. What? <laughs> What's written below the trapeze artist? Blazing match. A big hearted acrobat flying high above the ring. I think that clue was to get us to the balloon. Um, it was it's saying high, like it can get up really high. So I think that's the only place that clue was helpful. Let's call the following number. What number? No side. Here, you're, you're being a jerk. I don't understand. Yeah, this got me, uh, that, the, the trapeze artist is what got me card 18. Is there a nine? One plus eight together? What would that be from? This is supposed to be an easy scenario, y'all. There have been moments where I've been really smart, but most of this I've been having trouble with. Let's call the following number together. What number? 19? I'm gonna, I'm getting a hint about this dang card. What if you'd literally look for the next number? Are you kidding me? That's, that is a horrible puzzle. I mean, good job to you, Rode, for figuring it out for reals. But like, are you kidding me? That is horrible. <laughs> like, Pedro the Magician is going to cut his assistant in half. Wait a minute, where is my hand saw? So card 18 goes away. Call the following number together. Okay, so he needs a saw, which we know that we have a sawfish. Oops, Automod just caught something. Let me wake up my mouse, because my mouse is asleep. Um, ah, the word idiot. I will allow that. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so we need to add the sawfish. 57 plus 19 is uh, 67, 78. No, 75, 76. Why is math hard all of a sudden? 50, 60, 7, 76. Wow. Okay. This fish will do the trick, but you must take it in hand. Okay, 22 goes away. You must take it in hand. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, so I have to... There's like... There's like little circle white thing here. It's got a... So then if I... On this side, okay, so if I do it this way. I don't know what I'm looking at here. If I lay it down, I mean, it makes an eight. Is, is, is card number eight, is that all I'm looking for? You agree that it was a stupid solution. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if there's a card number eight or if I've already had it, but I will. There's less cards to search through at this point, so I don't really mind. Okay, there's no eight. So this clearly, this saw has to be, it has to go on here. Sorry, I know it's hard for you all to see what I'm doing, but like, so I can make an eight with it, like doing it that way. If I flip it the other, well, if I flip it the other direction, can't really make it 88 38 yeah I don't know what this is supposed to like if I flip it the other direction oh do I just have to add these together because it's blue and red 76 
$86.95. I'm going to try pulling card 95 first before we do anything else because that seems like a thing I should do. If it's in here. Nope. Uh... 76 plus 8. I don't really, would I, I don't think it would make me add that number to something, would it? If I do it like this, can I make the other side also look like something? Let's see if I go all the way up here. Sorry, I know you can't see what I'm looking at really. Uh... That looks like a C, but it, clearly this has to mean something too, right? This side? I'm like. The freaking A. but you must take it in hand. All right, let's lay down. I know y'all won't be able to see it as well if I lay it down, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna. I'm just trying to see if I can see anything else that makes any sense. I mean, I could try adding 76 plus 8. I don't think that's it, though. That'd be 84. And then 85. It doesn't hold. No. Okay, I'm getting a hint about this one. Make sure to place the card edge on the dotted line and find a number on either side. Okay, well we did that and it did not help. So we've got an eight, so there's gotta be a number on the other side is the thing. So if we put it the other direction. Like this doesn't make a number. Oh, wait, unless it's like an S? Or could that be a five? Could it be 85? Is that a five? That doesn't look like a five. I mean, it almost looks like a five. If that is supposed to be five, there is an 88 card. I don't know, I'm gonna try 85 first, if there's an 85. There is an 85, let's see. What? What? Yo. Do the teeth make a, f oh, maybe the teeth? Oh, it does. It freaking does. Look, that is a freaking five. Okay, 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 okay. It's not that stupid. <laughs> okay, we can get rid of card 19. A perfect cutting. And now Grace, my assistant, is going to be immersed in this tank with her hands and feet tied up. So we need to take 75. I think those sometimes are the most frustrating puzzles for me when I know how to solve it, I'm doing the right thing, and I just can't get to the answer. Those are sometimes the most frustrating. Grace dives into the tank, but what's happening? Pedro staggers and falls to the ground. Who will save Grace now? Okay, 39 we need to take. Well, I know what I'm going to do to save Grace. I'm already certain of what to do. Just, oh no, because we got rid of the card with the hammerhead shark on it. It told us to ditch that one, so I don't have a hammer. What am I getting, 39? Yeah, 39. I thought I knew, but now I don't. The magician's hat. There must be many secrets in it. They must be pulled out. We can get rid of card 75. Okay. So I can add something to the hat. We need to pull secrets out of the hat. Can the balloon, does the balloon have helium in it? Can the balloon pull secrets out of the hat, you think? 
Oh no, that's going to be a number bigger than 100. So that definitely can't be it. Breathtaking tricks. Breathtaking. I would guess that the card shouldn't be flipped for the other side. Which card? Sorry, I might have blown past when you said that. Breathtaking tricks. I mean, she has to hold her breath underwater. Oh, last puzzle. Okay, cool. Is there anywhere else that we can go right now in the... We haven't been back to this thing in a while. Oh, wait, the rabbit. We can get uh, vegetables from the garden. Craving for carrots. Take 31. Okay. A freshly picked carrot. Now we add these together, which gives us 70. Whoop. Okay, and we can get rid of these two. Reminder, how to enter the tank. All players must stop breathing. Then you can reveal card 13 and try to find what to do next. If anyone resumes breathing, press the penalty button. Okay, I can't. <sighs> You're right, I do still have the saw card, but I have to take a penalty. Okay. Okay, you're right, I should have, yeah, uh, 89. That was hard. <laughs> I have asthma, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's not smart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Mr. Loyal is trying to buy time. You can breathe. Don't worry. All is under my control. All right. 13, 70, and 76 all go away. Um, and then this lays on top. And that will change that number up there, I see. Okay. So we got these two. And then now this is 66. As a good impersonator... Oh, and I can get rid of 89. This one. Uh, Mr. Loyal promptly puts on his illusionist attire. Look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. 36. You are hypnotized. To snap out of it, look at it from different angles. Oh, gosh. It's one of these things. I, oh, no. can almost, oh, if this is supposed to be like those magic eye things for the record, I cannot do it. If it's, it's not like that. It's supposed, it says different angles. Oh wait, I almost, oh gosh, I think it's 32. I think it's 32. I don't know. I don't even know if you all will be able to see this at all on screen. So I'm just going to like tilt it around a little bit. Oh, look at it from a flat angle. Oh my God, that's literally kind of hurting my eyes. Okay, I'm done looking at that. I'm just gonna grab card 32. <laughs> okay, get rid of 36. Good, because that one feels okay. Incredible, Mr. Loyal turned out to be none other than the vile Professor No Side in disguise. Tremble for your final hour is here. Attack ferocious animals. Oh, good gracious. We need a lot of cards. We need 14, 17, 43, 99. Okay, 17. Uh, 43, 99. 43, 99. Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my gosh, we have so many animals all of a sudden. Matt, the performing poodle, looks confused. 
It's just staring stupidly at the other side of your program, barking three times. Three plus, and then there's a blank. So I need to look at the other side of the program. Remind me to do that in a minute. I'm not flipping the program over yet. We're going to put the poodle up there. Allie the alligator has been freed. Neutralize it. Okay. I bet I can put a fence post in his mouth. We'll try that in a second as well. I'm going to go through all these though. Tiger Ray roars at everything that moves. Who stole its stripes? Oh, no, this one's for the fence post. I need to use the black paint on the fence post on the tiger. Ethan the elephant smashes everything with its feet. Stop it before it destroys the whole city. Okay, so hold on. Let's do the tiger first. Tiger plus painted fence, 67, that would be 71. No. No, 81. Oh, gosh, it's literally right on top. Math! Ray puts the menagerie in order. Okay, and we can get rid of 1467. Okay, that one's good. And that's also, okay, hold on, that's a machine. So 81. Oh. We're going to need to, I don't know what to do for the cages yet. Maybe we do the other animals first. Okay, hold on. Well, elephants are afraid of mice. So we're going to add those two together. 88. Yep, that's good. Fun fact, in case you all weren't aware, Mythbusters tested that. And it is true that elephants are genuinely afraid of mice. It is one of the coolest episodes of Mythbusters you'll ever watch. I highly recommend looking it up if you are able. Alligator. Uh, do we put the rings on him? Oh, we can muzzle him with the rings, right? So that'd be 77. Yay, that worked. Get rid of those two cards. Admittedly, I'm running out of things to use, so it's slightly easier because of that. All right, so now we gotta look at the back of the program for the poodle. So ugh, pick up all these cards. I'm going to put them right down here. Look at the back of the program. Okay, I don't immediately see any numbers on the back of the program. I'm going to hold this up a little bit more so you all can kind of see. Oop. Oh, Hornist, yeah, Grant, ugh. Uh, when I was in college, so Mythbusters started in what, 2003, I wanna say? 2000, yeah, I think 2003, which is the year I graduated high school and started college, and I desperately wanted to work for Mythbusters. Like, I'm not scientifically or mechanically minded, so it never would have made sense for me to work for that show unless I was working, like, behind the scenes. But, like, I was obsessed with Myth Mythbusters, and I will reference it every chance I get. I got to meet Jamie and Adam at a VIP meet and greet when they were touring. I actually went to their show twice, once in San, here, I'm gonna pause the time. <laughs> I went to their show twice, once in San Diego, and then uh, another time in Las Vegas. So when I went to the show in San Diego, they had a section of the show where they did Q&A with the audience um, and they did their Q&As separately. Um, so Adam did his and what the way they handled it is they had a stool on the side of the stage and Adam was on one side of the stage when he did his Q&A and Jamie was on the other when he did his. I happened to be in the section of the audience where Jamie was pointing toward when he did his. And so I raised my hand to ask a question and I got called on by Jamie. I had not met him at this point and he asked me what my question was and I said if he could go back in time uh 10 years at that point I believe or however long it was um to the very beginning of Mythbusters and give his younger self one piece of advice regarding the show what would it be and Jamie Heineman who is just a brilliant person paused and kind of leaned back on his stool that he was sitting on and he was like that's a really good question. And my mind was blown because I impressed Jamie Heineman in even a tiny, tiny way. 
And then he, he thought about it for a minute and he said, I would tell myself to have more fun. And I thought that was amazing because Jamie always had the persona of kind of the like grumpy, gruff um, host of the show. And so I thought that that was really neat and self-aware that he would tell himself to have a little bit more fun. Then the follow-up to that story is, uh, so we did regular tickets for the San Diego show. And then when we did the show here in Vegas, when they were touring here, we did VIP tickets. So we had like second row. My friend Samantha got called up on stage during the show when they were doing a slow motion camera bit. Uh, they had her blow a raspberry on stage and they filmed it and played it back in extreme slow motion. And it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have video of that on my Facebook somewhere. But uh, after the show, we did the meet and greet. And so my, my friends and I, we were waiting in line. And when we got to go up to them, um, I, you know, I introduced myself and said hi. And then uh, I, even though I love Adam, I kind of felt this weird connection to Jamie because of the thing in San Diego. So I went up to Jamie and I said, hey, um, I went to your show in San Diego back whenever that was. And uh, I, I was got to ask you a question during your Q&A segment. I kind of quickly recounted the story. And I said, I wanted to thank you because when I told that story to all my friends after the fact, they were all super impressed that, you know, you were impressed by my question. So I just wanted to thank you for giving me some nerd cred, basically. And Jamie got the kindest look on his face. Like, you know how you, you can tell when somebody's being sincere. And I imagine at these VIP meet and greets, not just for the Mythbusters, but for any performer, they're tired. They just did a long show. They obviously are kind, but like, it's a lot to meet a whole bunch of fans in a row. It's very taxing socially. And he just looked genuinely kind in this moment. And he was like, thank you so much for coming back. For, for buying another ticket and for coming to the show again. And thank you for coming to San Diego. And just like, I, he was like, I really appreciate it. Like he was so genuine and so sincere. Um, and again, I think, you know, Jamie had this like kind of reputation of being super grumpy and whatever else. And obviously like he, he and Adam definitely had different personalities. They have spoken at length about how personal personally they didn't get along um, that well, but I, it was just the most delightful thing to meet him and get to talk to him. Um, and I'm really happy that that got to happen. I have a picture of me with Adam and Jamie. Um, maybe I'll tweet it later if y'all want to see it. Um, it's on my Facebook, but he might be less grumpy when he doesn't have to be with Adam. They don't, it's not that bad. I, at least not anymore. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they spent a lot of years working together. Okay, sorry, I know that was a long aside. Uh, we'll get back to the game now. <laughs> we gotta look at the back of the program to figure out the number. So I'm gonna hit the play button again. We're, I mean, time, anytime I play an escape room game on stream, it, the time never goes right. Um, so we're looking for a number on the back of the program for this poodle. It says, barking three times, three plus something. <laughs> Excellent aside, we're here to slow you down. I don't mind getting slowed down. I don't care what my score is at the end. I'm just trying to see if there is anything even vaguely resembling a number on the back of this program. And I don't see anything. Jamie was nice to chat with me while I was waiting for the autograph session with him. Oh, that's awesome, Amanda. Um... All the monkeys are looking up. Do y'all see anything? I don't see anything. Clown from other unlock game with the haha -ha puzzle. Yeah, this yeah, this is no side. He uh, he has shown up in a couple different unlocks. You taught your poodle to count to three in barks. Will you please if you have a video of that, will you tweet it at me? And like, is it a counting poodle? Um, okay. Hint time. 99. Flip the program over and do the math. What math? What? Yeah, count what things? Uh, 
they're... Like, you wouldn't just... It wouldn't just say count the bananas. Like, it hasn't told me to count anything. Flip the program over and do the math. Three plus something. Three plus what? Yeah, there's, there's flags. There's a clown. There's a donkey. There's monkeys. There's bananas. Like, there's lots of things on here. But, like, none of that seems to have any rhyme or reason. All right, fine. I'm going for hint number two. Yes, I want an additional hint. Don't forget Matthew asked you to add three. I know that part. Three to what? Do the performers have numbers on their cards? They do. So there's the clown. That's gonna be more than 100. So that won't, that can't be possible. Monkey plus donkey number. I mean, it, it, All right, I'm getting the solution. Well, no, because that's the same artwork as their card. They always hold the bananas. So this is not new. Like that's not new information. I'm getting the solution. Yeah, I want the solution. On the back of the program, following the yellow stripes, you can read the calculation. Nine plus seven minus three plus six minus two plus four. What? And then that's 21 and then you add three and you take card number 24. What? On the back of the program, following the yellow stripes. Y'all. What? This is the program, right? The pro this is the program. We're on the back of the program. Are there numbers on the side? I don't see any numbers anywhere. Do you... Yo, I don't even care about the timer right now. What is it talking about? Following the yellow stripes. I see nothing. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, but following the, so that nine, Wait, but how do I, so the, the numbers are on the backs of the performers. They're on the backs of the cards. It's not the program. What? How am I supposed to know? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, let me put these back where they belong and see if we can make this make sense. Uh, wait, did I just do this entirely wrong? So, back of the program. Oh, this. 
because I haven't been slotting these in the way I'm supposed to be. These are technically all of those numbers would be visible on the back of the freaking program. Okay, okay, yeah, so in theory, I'll just show you all one of them. But like, if I'd been putting the cards in the way I was supposed to, okay, this is, this is kind of my bad. I will admit this is a me thing, not the game. But if I had done that, then those would be visible. So, okay. But like, I didn't want to bend Kathy's cards. Cause this isn't my game. I mean, I know they're supposed to go in there, but I just didn't want to bend them. All right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> that should have been obvious to me also. Okay, we can get rid of card number 99 now. Where did 99 go? It's probably over here. No. Am I looking at it? There it is, over here. Poodle. Okay. So now we have all of the animals with their cages, which I assume we line up in numerical order? Yes, Ray puts the menagerie in order. So 24, 77, 81, 88. This is what I get for trying to play the game in a way that it was not intended. That was my fault. Um, so we go machine, 81. Then we put oop, everything in order. So 24, 77, 81, and 88. Whew, the animals are now under control, but Professor Noside took the opportunity to run away and the circus is nothing but a desolate theater. Okay, so we discard 32, take 52. I imagine the stripes probably point down those lines of numbers. And so it would have made sense had I put slotted them all in. If you all want to see it when we get done, I can do, do it there. Okay, we can get rid of all of these. The big top has collapsed. The real Mr. Loyal can finally get out of his trailer where he was kept tied up. What a disaster. Help me take these assembly instructions and save my circus. Okay. A, B. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. So A is the jugglers. B is the clown. D and C. So D is the knife thrower. And uh, C is the acrobats. Okay. E, which is the trapeze, and F, magician and his assistant. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Customer service for bulbs. <laughs> Enter the call, four digit code. Okay, yeah, so we've got bulbs out. One, 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 seven. Can you tell me how you got there before I type anything in? Five, nine, eight, five. That seems too obvious. Wait, what? One, one, eight, seven. Oh, wait. No. Straight down view. What? <laughs> can't see the sides though, so can't tell. Yeah, like, um, there's no bulbs out on the. 
other cards. The only bulbs that are out are on these two cards. I, I see the lights, but I don't see how you're getting one, 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 seven. Because this one has four out. This one is a little L. This one is a big C. And this one does look like a seven. Oh, it's the lit up ones. Oh! <laughs> okay. I was looking at the dark ones. Nope, that's not it. Oh, but if I do, oh, hold on. No, 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 no. It's one, six, nine, seven. Did somebody already put that in? Yes, Ben did. <laughs> okay, but I figured it out, I swear. I didn't use your thing. Okay, score one star. <laughs> yeah, not surprising. Despite all the efforts deployed by the diabolical no side, the circus is saved. The children of Clarinquette Le Bogrisson can find new happiness, but it's only a matter of time. And next time he'll hit hard. Well, he'll hit. Okay, yeah. Oh, three, st three out of five stars, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Here, let me, um, I will actually, uh, anyone with motion sickness issues, warning, I'm going to grab my overhead camera and show you all what this looks like. So just warning, I'm going to move the camera. Figured I should give you all a heads up because it's going to be a little bit wobbly here for a second. Okay, so yeah, it's one, six, nine, one, uh, seven. That's, that's, I like this one. That one's cool. I think that's neat. Uh, okay. Overall, not a fan of this one. Um, but that last puzzle I really enjoyed. Um, yeah. All right. Yes, I would like to leave, leave the game. All right, y'all. So that was Unlock the No Side Show from the Timeless Adventures line. We've now done two of the three Timeless. We only have this middle one left. Um, do you all want to see what this looks like the way it should have looked if I had done it correctly? Or do you not care? <laughs> I, if you don't care, I won't do it. I just, if somebody wants to see it, I will put it together so we can see what it would have looked like. Um, okay, Joe says yes, so we're going to do it. So let me grab, oh, those are all the leftover cards. It's, it's these ones, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so let me slot all of these in. Oh my gosh, I hate bending the cards. I'm so sorry, Kathy. Kathy's not watching, but. Mm. We got the clown. Oh, I guess I don't want, I only have to put in the ones that would be on the back side, right? I don't need to put in the ones over here. So, acrobats. Magician. And then the bear exhibitor canceled. So, yes, if we had followed the stripes, nine plus. Oh, no, we needed the whole thing. When it said back of the program, it actually meant backside of the entire thing. So I would have had to slot in the rest. But I think that's probably, you, you, so it'd be nine plus this number that would have been over here. Um, yeah, and then there's a minus, there's a three. I'll just hold it up so you can kind of see what's going on. But yeah, there's math stuff. And it's they're all on the yellow stripes. So yeah, that is what it would have looked like if I had been doing this correctly. So that one was entirely my fault. But there were other puzzles that were very dumb. <laughs> I This one, not one of my faves. Um, Although some of the other recent unlocks have been really, really fun. Yeah, the, these these cards had numbers in and uh, stuff in the corners. So, 
All right. I mean, that was still fun. For the record, I enjoy playing any escape room game with you all because it's just fun, even if the puzzles are not. Star Wars Unlock was amazing. And I know some people say that it's too easy. I disagree. Well, I think it is on the easier side of many unlock games but for me that's a good thing i like that it's a little bit easier and they had some of the most clever puzzles in the star wars ones i really really enjoyed the star wars set if if, if any of you enjoy escape room games and haven't picked up star wars unlock i highly recommend it there are usually some puzzles that don't work well in most of these games i agree especially now what is happening with my hair <laughs> I, I don't know what is happening over here. Um, yeah, it seems, especially at this point, um, that, you know, the people who make these escape room games, you know, have used a lot of different tips and tricks. Uh, Hornist just redeemed bunny ears. We haven't done any bunny ears tonight. Swoop. <laughs> so, bunny ears in it up. Haven't played Star Wars yet and borrowed Ben's copy to try. Nice. Yeah, I I love the Star Wars Unlock. Love them. Love, love, love. And I mean, I do also like the Star Wars theme, but I think the puzzles were great. 